First, I want to test out this beat here before I build the template up. I want to make sure these sounds are pretty cool for my template. Okay, not too bad. So I want to check on the sound here. And the reason why I make a template, I want to make sure that these sounds are going to use whenever I make a specific style of music. In this case, this is my Neo Soul template when I have to do Neo Soul tracks. And this thing I don't like too much. I want to get rid of this thing on the top of here. So always check your sounds first. Make sure where you want them. I'll do that. Then I'll want to normalize the sound too probably. So I'm going to go to here. And I want to just truncate the sound first. So I'll bring this in a little bit more into here. And then I want to sort of like, uh, let's see. I probably want to get up here and not extract it, but discard. I'll go to here, discard. And I'll discard stuff on here, which is good. We discard that stuff. I'm going to discard some more of this right here up to this point. And I'm going to discard again. Good. Much better. Now I'm going to get this sample to be a little bit better than what it is. I'm going to normalize it now. Good. And I want to hear it back inside the mix with other stuff. All right, cool. It sounds louder and much more pure. So. And that one, that's like, look how that one is. That's like really crazy. So I come to this one too. I like that one, but I want to change it around. I want to keep it low in the background, but I don't want it to have it that way. I want to do a different way with it. So I want to have it that way. I'm going to go back into my mix here. And then I want to grab this sound and normalize it too as well. So uh, do it. There we go. We got a sound now. Good. Now that's what I want to see. What it really does, right? So next I want to come to here and pull this over to here. I don't want it to sound like that. I'm going to discard right here. So I'm preparing my sounds before I start actually getting ready to make up this kit. This kit will be everything I want to have it. So now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go back to home. And then I want to make sure my system's set up properly. I want to go here to audio. If I take an audio track, I want to make sure I've got something going on here. And that will be an EQ. I'll come to here. I want to make an EQ at the top. I probably want to go with a parametric EQ right here at the top. And I'll select that. Below here, my next insert, I want to add a bus. So a bus compressor, that is. I'm going to come down to here, one right here. I'm going to grab this one, a bus compressor right there. I want to have this just on this order track line. If I bring audio in or vocals or something, I want something to be there so I can at least have it right there. It's not going to affect the sound. It's just going to be there if I need it. So next, what I want to do is go into my mixer. I got a mixer here, right? So this is a mixer. So let me go back here one more time to my other section here, to this section right here. I'm going to go back into MIDI first of all. Uh, good, I'm going to go back here. I'm at home. I'm going to make sure this is the grid. Then I'm going to go back to my mixer, and now I see everything on the mixer. That's on the pad mixer, right? Uh, let's go back to the pad mixer right here. I see all my pads. What I want to do on this is just come in here, and I want to add some effects. Now, first of all, I want to put an EQ before the compressor. So I'll come here and get a parametric EQ, but I want to get a different one. I'm going to get one here from the Akai Professional, and I want to get the four band put right there. I can use a four band here. I have a pretty decent Mac. I've got an M2, oh, M1 Max out. I'm maxed out here. So I got plenty of uh, CPU power. So that sounds good. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to come to here. I want to add a compressor. So I'm going to use a bus compressor right here. Good. Now I've got this going on right here. And this is kind of cool. These two things are hip. I got them right here. And so I'm going to grab them. I'm going to press Option on my Mac. I'm going to just keep putting these on the next available track. I hold down option. Let's keep dragging without clicking again. Just holding down option. I want every track to have an EQ and then a compressor, like a regular mixing board would have, to make sure that we have the ability to EQ a sound, to get the proper frequency of that sound, so I can do it. If it's not, I'm not going to worry about it. I won't need this at all. And that's all 16 there. The same thing with my compressor as well. Compressor here, compressor here. And the purpose of this is to make sure that my template is consistent to how I use my MPC software. What I want to do is make sure everything's there. I haven't got to do anything except pull my tracks up and put my drums where I want to put them at, which is going to be in the same position always. 
and make sure everything's consistent. It makes it easier for me. Okay, this is great. Close this out. So now, as you can see, I've got my mix lined up for the pads. This is kind of cool. Now, I can also go down to here, actually, and go to this here. Click on that right there. Click, click, click. There we go. And there I go. My pads go right here. There we go. And you can hear they're the same. I'm going here. If I just turn this off, it's still the same. So nothing is affecting the sound. These inserts are just going to remain there preliminary, right? Like a mixing board, you'll see this happen this way. Perfect. Now, I want to do one more thing. I want to go back in here to my view right here, which is the show pad and channel mixers. And I'll come here to my master output, which is my summation amp, which is right here. Currently, it's at 0 dB. I'm going to pull this down. I want to get it more like minus 3. I want to create some headroom inside the mix. I do not want anything to be too loud and to be above minus 3. I want headroom. It's very important in mixings to have headroom. Between minus 3 and 0, I don't want nothing pretty much. And so next what I want to do is like uh, add something to this whole thing. So I'm going to pull this up to here. I'm going to add in my little factory rack. I want to get a rack for mastering. Just an output that keeps it cool where I want it to be. Let's say, so I'm going to be doing this thing. It's going to be almost like a uh, hip-hop feel, but it's going to be a neo-soul feel, so I can adjust this. I'll grab this one. I'll double-click here, and then I'll go back to my mixing board right here, and there it is. As you can see now, my inserts are here. I have a parametric EQ, an air compressor, air transient, and I also have an air maximizer, which is kind of cool half as well. So I maximize my audio output. So of course, I got my Neo Soul here. If I come to here on this side, you'll see it right here, right? If I play the beat, my home will be right here, and it comes up here, right? So what I want to do right here, I prefer to come to here and add something here too as well. So I may come in here, and I want to add the dynamic side is thing. I want to find me something I really want to get in there with. And that's a limiter. And I put a limiter right there. That's good. In case it gets too loud, I want to limit it. Okay, this is my setup for now, my current setup for this project. And so I've got stuff I want to add also here in the returns. I think I want to add a reverb. So I'm going to go to here and look for some reverb and delay. So let's go to here. Um, let's look for reverb. I want to go with the air verb. Right there. And here I want to go with a delay. Right here. And I'm going to pick my delay out. Let me see here. Matter of fact, I got a delay that's actually a different delay that I like. I use this one right here should work. Yes, it's right there. Okay, so I've got my MPC stuff going on. I've got my Akai and some other plugins. So we're pretty good now. So now I like this. I'm going to go back here. And now what I want to do, I want to save this as a template. So I want to come to here. I want to save. Save project as. I'll go, for example. Save project as. This comes up here, and I'll say save as template. So like that. I come to here, I'm going to name it. Okay, good. And that's pretty cool. This so I've got this. I want to save this now. And they're all saving. I'm saving all the samples I've gotten here. I can even add more to this whole collection. But for right now, I just want to make sure that this template is full of stuff I want to use. So when I pull up and do a Neo Soul track, I can do that pretty quickly. Now, once this saves down, I want to go to close this session out and start a brand new project. So watch this. I'm going to go to here. Once this is done, which apparently it is. And I want to get a brand new project. Okay, empty project. Now to load that template, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go to here and file, and it says here, new from template. I'll make a brand new song. 
and there it is. It comes right up like that. My new from template. Everything's here. You can see that. I can go to my mixing board right here. My mixing board is set up the way I want it set up, and it's that easy.